Howdy folks, Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner Outdoors. Just got done knocking out my six arrows for the night and I figured I hadn't made a video in a while so I'd whip on the camera. Every day I attempt to shoot at least six arrows from a traditional bow. It can be outside at 20 yards into my Glendale Buck target or it's here in the living room at 9 yards into my McKenzie block. But every day I make an attempt to shoot at least six arrows to keep my skill sharp and to continue improving my technique. Because archery, especially traditional style archery, is very perishable. Now the topic of this video is instinctive archery. Instinctive archery though it sounds really sexy and everybody wants to be an instinctive shooter when they pick up a bare bow like this bare bow meaning no sights no cams just even though this is a high-tech recurve it's basically the old style stick but everybody wants to pick up a bow and become an instinctive shooter and there's an awful lot of videos that have a lot of views where archers are trying to teach instinctive shooting. The way it is popularly believed in, instinctive shooting is a myth. It is attainable, but it is unteachable. Some of the best archers in history are not instinctive shooters, contrary to popular belief. Howard Hill the exhibition archer was not an instinctive shooter. Byron Ferguson, the living legend, is not an instinctive shooter. However, I am an instinctive shooter. That's the technique that I prefer. As I said, instinctive archery is attainable but it is unteachable. The way that instinctive shooting with a bow and arrow really works is very simple but difficult to explain. Your body and your brain and the bow must work in perfect harmony. It's similar to, in the Book of Five Rings, in the chapter of emptiness, how Musashi says, and I'm paraphrasing, once you have attained all of these principles, you master them and now you leave them. And you can actually begin operating on an unconscious level. That's not his words, that's my paraphrase. But there's a few different methods of getting your arrow to go where you want it to go. True instinctive shooting doesn't exist. You cannot learn instinct. However, you can get to a point where you can focus on something and you are so familiar with your equipment, your arrow trajectory, and you have trained to a point of consistency that you can bring up your bow, touch your anchor point, release the arrow, and as if the arrow is shooting down a wire like electricity, the arrow is going to go where you want it to. It is attainable, but it is unteachable. And I don't look down on archers that try and teach it, because I was naive enough to put up an instinctive archery tutorial myself and I have since removed that video. Amateurs train until they get it right and professionals train until they can't get it wrong. I wouldn't call myself an amateur anymore but I am far from a professional but I've reached a level of maturity in the journey of archery to know that I don't know everything, which is why I'm making this video. I encourage everyone to get into the discipline of archery. It is difficult and it is challenging, but it is very rewarding 
I hope this video has been helpful in explaining extinctive shooting. And I apologize for the low production value. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you who served in the military. And thanks for watching Tex Grebner Outdoors.